Whiskey, Whiskey Sierra 207. Whiskey, Whiskey Sierra 1200, South Carolina Mobile. Back to you. 1200, South Carolina Mobile at that. What do you know? 207 up here in the Great Lake State, Michigan there. Uh, hopefully you're driving uh, uh, safe and, and wide awake at this hour. And WS 2317. Uh, 10 four. Yeah, I'm just uh, off to the side. All I have is a mobile, so I have to uh, <laughs> drive out of my neighborhood and go up to the uh, local Walmart parking lot and go ahead and sit in that so I'm not causing problems with everybody's uh, electronics in my neighborhood. But uh, yeah, I'm just on the side of the road. I sure hope you're doing safe as well. 1200 back to you. I had four of my days done of driving. My day is definitely done of driving my, uh, what I call my... Uh, Duck, box truck. <laughs> I can't seem to make uh, any contact in that. In the truck at all. Uh, I don't know, once in uh, six months, but yeah. Uh, I'm home. Ready to go to bed. I gotta get up early and do it all over again, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly how that is. Yeah, that's a thing. I got to go out and uh, sit on the side of the road. I get kind of bored here, but uh, I'm glad when uh, when the skip rolls in, able to talk to people, especially from the club. So, uh, yeah, you're definitely doing a good trip down here, and I hope you're being safe up there in your area as well, and everything's kind of hopefully calming down a little bit up there. And uh, it's... Uh, it's a nice uh, nice time here. It's kind of cool down in this area, so I'm able to keep the windows down. Don't have to keep the AC rolling or the uh, car on, so I'm able to talk to you pretty, pretty nice. Uh, 1200 back to you. I put on the area of the windows down and uh, no AC on. It's nice and cool. We're supposed to be having about 50, I think it was 55 to 60 degrees tonight, so uh, it definitely changed from uh, 85 that we had earlier. Yeah, I'm down here, uh, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, right there on the coast. I got a, I got a um, cousin down there. She's in uh, Summersville, I think it is. Summersville, South Carolina, there, not too far from Charleston. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, Summersville, uh, South Carolina. Yep. It's about a, about a 25-mile uh, hike for me, but, uh, yeah, definitely you're right in the same area where I'm at, so you know exactly who you're talking uh, down to distance-wise. And uh, Wow, what you uh, working on? I'm just on a 955 with a little bit of heat to it. I'm running my 2950 there and my uh, uh, Texas Thunder 667 there. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I have a 2950 there. I, I powered it up. It's doing all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, everyone's telling me it's a low battery, but uh, it's giving me full frequency range from uh, 20 megs all the way up to, uh, it says 39995 on it. It's the old school orange uh, first gen version, but uh, it keys up on um, all those frequencies too, and I'm hearing all kind of other stuff too. I pulled it apart and trying to see w what they did to it, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I was sitting in storage for about 10 years. Everyone's saying it's a low battery and it's not really working that well, but uh, I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, you're definitely sounding real good with that. I need to get my, uh, I have a 2510 I just pull out of storage. Both those 10 years just sitting there and that's the first time I actually keyed it all up knowing that the uh, conditions are starting to change a little bit and uh, getting ready for DX. But uh, yeah, this uh definitely fun with the, all these radios now. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the people that have radios now are also have all those noise toys and causing trouble for people that actually have communications so yeah at least uh when we're on the worldwide sideband club frequency it seems to be a lot uh, quieter and a lot more nicer you know i four i'm four on that uh, quieter and nicer 30s just pounding away there can't even uh not 10 miles away because it's uh, just so bad that they even cover up my uh setup here so yeah yeah, it's amazing sometimes when that 38 gets rolling, you you can't tell the difference between that and channel six on the bowl. <laughs> 
because yeah everyone starts screaming and hollering and yelling and uh, everyone's got those uh, things to talk about but uh, sometimes some of those people that talk and actually have conditions that they just communicate uh, they get a lot farther with their self and they probably enjoy uh, the radio a lot better instead of causing trouble with people but uh, it's actually great to have QSOs with people that uh, you know actually appreciate the hobby that's for sure for on the hobby. I've been in it since I was uh, T-Talking. Uh, I got my uh, ticket there when I was uh, seven years old there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've been in it uh, probably, well, I was about eight years old in, in the mid-80s, and my old man gave me an old Craco 23-channel uh, deluxe and just threw a copper wire in the back of it for me and uh, he was hoping I'd blow it up uh, a lot quicker than I did. I was making contacts all over the place and also a lot of contacts through the neighbor's uh, <laughs> electronics as well. But uh, yeah, he was a ham radio operator before and uh, you know, the radio bugs stuck with me, kind of left off with him. He uh, kind of fell out of the hobby off the mid uh, early eighties. But uh, yeah, the bug hit me, uh, has hit me since. and. Uh, yeah, now I actually have a little bit of radio and a little bit of uh, antenna and uh, all that. Uh, you know, now that I'm old and old and grown to be able to get my old equipment, I still don't have the big boy antenna. But uh, yeah, my mobile I seem to be doing just as good. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to get everything set up properly because uh, yeah, it's uh, conditions are just gonna get better from here. It seems. Hey, boy, I got a buddy down there in Charleston too. I forgot to even. Uh... I forgot he was down that way there. Uh, I'm trying to think it was 186, I think it is. Um, Brian, but I can't think of his last name off the top of my head there. Uh, normally, on conditions like this, we could sit and talk for hours uh, over the radio there. I uh, just uh, amazed at how long we can actually make contact for there. We've had a Yeah, 10-4, just to let you know, I got this going on the uh, video gate as well. Um, I'm gonna, I'll throw a link up on the uh, on the club page as well. But yeah, I got you on the video gate. I just got my little <laughs> terrible cell phone staring at my radio. So you'll be able to at least hear what you sound like. Uh, amazing with technology, what you can hear like. Uh, with people telling you, oh uh, yeah, you sound good. And then you come to find out you don't sound that good when you actually hear from somebody else. So uh yeah, it's always good with this technology, so I'll let you be able to get uh, a good listen of what you sound like coming back to me in South Carolina from up there. So, uh, yeah, you're definitely doing good, and it's it's amazing with the conditions. You get a good quiet frequency. Yeah, it's a it's a great QSO conversation. You go ahead and uh, be able to actually, uh, you know, enjoy someone else's company on the radio. So, yeah, that's a that's what the hobby's all about, and I'm, that's what this club's about, and I'm glad I found it because yeah. With you go ahead and go through all the other channels, boy, oh boy, it makes you want to take the radio and throw it out the window. Hey, copy that on the uh, uh, video gate there. I'll have to look that up there. Hey, Ali, it would be 207 MacGyver, uh, Michigan, personal, very... Yeah, ten four. That's about what I do. I get a uh, get done with work, get everything ready, uh, and get the vehicle over to a location that's not going to cause <laughs> amount of issues for my neighbors, and uh, get on the radio. And sometimes I I lose a whole bunch of conditions between. Uh, hearing it when I get home and getting back on the road to a place where I can uh, definitely communicate again. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely trying times for me uh, over here as well, but I'm so glad these conditions seem to keep up. Um, I know they're saying that the conditions are supposed to be low on this sunspot, but the way everyone's been able to talk and how long they've been able to talk and how many times this DX is rolling in every which way, I think we're gonna be good this time around. the rest of that day. 
Appreciate you, 207. Appreciate you, 207. Yeah, the conditions keep jumping in, jumping out, jumping in and jumping out. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say 73s while I'm able to on the video so we can actually have a full final cue. So, I do appreciate you coming back to me. You're a gentleman and a scholar, sir, and I will say 73s to you as well, and I hope you're safe and uh, be able to be safe tomorrow as well. Uh, this is 1200 South Carolina Worldwide Side Banner. Back to you and clear, clear. Appreciate you. That's awesome. That's a. I think that's what exactly this club's about. Good QSOs, good conversation, and you can't go wrong with uh, worldwide side banners.